about 20, 25 minutes. So is that, is that safe to say? Yeah, it's safe to say. So hold your horses. All right, guys. We'll be back. 10, 20 minutes. See uh, you guys in a few. Well, whatever time we take, you guys are just going to have to deal with it. Hold up. Good in the hood, everybody. Michael Hurdle here, chilling out with the great Triforce. What happened to the screen? Can't see us. Let's see if this helps. Uh, no? Oh, this one's better? Oh, I think we moved the camera off balance. Let me see if I can push the laptop back a little bit so we can get a little bit more a better angle. There we go, brother. What's up, Mr. Triforce? How you doing there today, sir? Um, for those of you in the chat room right now, um, um, give me one minute. My phone's ringing. Hey guys. All right, everybody out there in the U stream land. Um, um, I'm not too sure. Should we cut this stream real quick or should I just uh, edit it? I don't want people, I don't want to lose people if we cut the stream. So we just going to keep it moving. I'll edit it out. What's up, Triforce? How you doing, man? Um, how's everything? Um, good, good. Good to see you again, man. Yo, show everybody that signature glove of yours, brother. Well, look at this screen. I think it's a little bit more current. <laughs> yeah, 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 sir. So, yo, first of all, Triforce. What's your thought on this stream that we're doing tonight here, brother? Uh, well, this is another uh, network that's being added to the East Coast. Mm -hmm. is, uh, we definitely need that. Um, I like what you guys have going here. Um, we provide a variety of different video game contents. I'm sorry, let me turn your mic up. Um, go ahead, what you saying? Uh, I like the fact that um, the Raw Good. Gameplay stream will be able to uh, provide a variety of different video game content. Um, that'll bring more viewers. That's right. That's uh, how it's supposed to be. You know, expand the demographic, not just Street Fighter players, but video gamers uh, overall. So, you know, uh, my hat's off to you guys. Thank you very much, man. Because, you know, I mean, it's been a long time that we've uh, streamed. Uh, it's been almost a year or some change. We used to go to the East spot all the time and stream. Go to Bulletproof Comics in Brooklyn. Let me turn down some of the audio for this Street Fighter because it's a little too loud. All right, good, good. So we can hear ourselves a little better. Sorry about that, guys. A little bootleg, but you know, it's a stream. What you expect? This ain't broadcast television. This is in the crib, all right? <laughs> all right, so yeah, the, the thoughts of the stream, really good stuff, man. I'm really feeling it, too, as well. I'm glad to, to have all of you guys here. These are some of the real top players in almost the world, I say. These are one of the group of top players of Super Street Fighter 4 Marvel. I mean, fighting games. Don't even think they're only fighting people. They're, they, they know how to do the shooters. Even I saw you the other day. You was playing, what game was that, Tetris? Yeah, we're getting. <laughs> it was Tetris. Yeah, you were yeah. playing Tetris. You were playing something else too that was puzzling to me. It was another puzzle game. You a like Pokemon, a lot of Pokemon puzzle. Games. You like a lot of puzzle games, huh? Yeah, it, that's what's they, up. They make it more fast. There's, there's a lot of different groups out there. I'm, I'm glad the groups are now expanding. Mm -hmm. um, the, the, uh, clans and factions have always existed, but um, for fighting games, I like the fact that um, Empire Acadia brought that trend because um, now you have um, EG, you have BLG, you yes, have. Sir. Um, uh, what's the name of these guys? DMG, FYC, FNAX, um, GMA, GMMA, mm -hmm. and, and, on, yeah, and more. Gotcha. Yeah, yeah. Uh, no, no, no doubt. I'm sorry about that. I was just talking to somebody else. Yo, everybody doing a damn thing. It's a wonderful thing. Uh, in Chinatown Fairs, mm -hmm. recently, uh, of course, Super Street Fighter 4 Arcade Edition. Yeah. Have you have you touched it? Have you played with it yet? Have you have? I mean, what's your thoughts on that? Actually, I haven't played it. Um, you know, I, I've actually um, saw the um, the actual arcade, and I see these guys playing it. I see a lot of Yangs, <laughs> um, a whole bunch of Fei Longs. 
Right. I, there, are people, there are a lot of people who I thought would be maining their characters or trying to stick it out and try to, you know, see what they can do with their new characters. I, I seen this is the most abandoning abandoning moment ever. It's like mad characters are going to orphanages. Everyone's just abandoning their characters and going to Fei Long. I think it's sad. Fei Long? Yeah, this is a, bit, a bunch of, I must have seen five different Fei Longs from a bunch of people who have never used Fei Long in Super. So why do you think everybody's going to Fei Long? Because it's cheap. <laughs> well, how, but what, make, what makes Fei Long cheap though? Like what, do you his, know? His Rekka. Everyone's just using Rekka, a bunch of chicken wings. It's, it's ridiculous. <laughs> It's disgusting. It's like, you know. Do you think it's just a, it's just a now? We think it's just a fad. You know, you think it's just something that people I, are. I, I personally think that um, people are just gonna find Fei Long's um, counter, and they're gonna have him as a secondary, have that character as a secondary, and when people pull out Fei Long, they um, they're just gonna get on. Anybody else in the arcade edition that you think may be cheap? <laughs> oh, Bison's cheap. I, I think I think this is the age of Andre Lambert. Uh oh. Uh oh. <laughs> um, I don't think they they didn't buff Bison from mm -hmm. what it looks like. It looked like they just brought some of Bi Bison's the the characters that give Bison a bad matchup. They they nerfed them and put them in the in the vicinity where Bison can now get get, get a better fighting uh, get a, a have a better fighting chance against those characters. I so. Mean, the way, the way Andre plays um, Bison, it makes those characters, you know, a, a, you know, it makes those matchups a little bit better in his favor. So, I mean, so I mean, a, as far as that goes, like, who do they nerf? Uh, from what they say, I see. Oh, Guile got. Uh, For, well, now he get his charge time get nerfed. Uh, they just nerf. They, well, I guess when you interview um, Dominion, he'll give you the specs. All right, on it. All right. Because uh, I, I'm not a, a lot of people think I actually play fighting games, but I don't. I know about them. I, I have some knowledge on them, but that's only because I'm hanging, hanging around, you know, these professionals. You know, Yipes, Sanford, Andre, you know, Rasan, Jago, and the rest of these guys. So, you know, I got a lot of fighting game knowledge. But um, based on the discussions I hear them, you know, having around the dinner table in Chinatown, it, you know, that was bad now. So, wow, for uh, real? I, I, as, as you would say, um, Kev, Gal sucks. Wow, I mean... Uh, I want I want to interview you in a minute. I want to ask you some questions about that because I mean my man Dominion. Everybody knows him, Kevin. He's he's, he's beast with guys, so you know how that rolls. Now, um, I heard you were involved in something called. As a matter of fact, before I even do that, any final thoughts about the Street Fighter Four Arcade Edition uh, that you that you want to let everybody out there know? I uh, I hope the downloadable content for this game comes out faster than. Um the, the, the date that I, 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 I heard, I don't know if that's the official date, but I heard it was like set in June or something like that. I heard like late fall of next year. That's what, I mean, it's rumors spreading all about the place. Yeah, I, I hope it's something like March. But the thing about it is, though, the, the the DLC, will it just be yin and yang or will it be everybody? Will it be all characters that they were speculating about? This, this is why I hope the downloadable characters, all they I hope they download all the characters and have them out by at least the end of May. So it can follow the um, what's the word for this? So it can follow the tradition of this um the si the this, this series so far with Evil. Right. Year one you had vanilla. Year two you had chocolate. Right. And um, year three you'll have um strawberry. This is it's gonna be. Strawberry. I, I call it cookies and cream. <laughs> you gonna hear it first? Cookies yeah. and cream from Chai Force. It's cookies and cream for me, but <laughs> they call it strawberry. Strawberry. I, I don't know how you mix chocolate and vanilla and get strawberry. strawberry. <laughs> but whatever. Well, you know now I'm hearing. Uh, you, I'm hearing something about you being involved with something called VMA. Can you tell us a little bit about that if you feel like talking about it right now? Oh, okay. Um, mm -hmm. Empire Acadia um, is involved in a a new virtual martial arts league mm -hmm. um, that's created by Jason Cole. Mm -hmm. um, we're just a team in it. That's how we're involved in it. But this is Jason Cole um, ambition and it's pretty much a Street Fighter 5-on-5 five -five team based league. And you have different um, regions. You have SoCal, NorCal. You have, um, I think it's not Midwest, uh, Northwest. Mm -hmm. Then you have um, Atlanta. Then you have Florida. Then you have two teams out of Northeast. Right. They, they come out of New York City. You have Empire Acadia. Right. And then you have Team New York. And Empire Acadia, pretty much, um, we have our roster ready. This is talks that we were involved with with Jason Cole since um, Evolution 2010. And J. Cole is the man, and he's he's one of these OG gamers, much like Seth Killian, mm -hmm. who's taking a leadership role now. You know, now that he's older, he's no longer a, well. He's still a professional gamer, right? But 
he's gonna use the experience he has as a professional gamer and 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 use that to try to elevate and evolve the fighting game community and this ambition that he has the virtual martial arts is such a godlike ambition he, he pretty much sent me the packet yeah i don't i don't want to give you guys too much details because he has a press release for this an official press release so i'm just going to go skim over some of the stuff that we have so, so none of this has embargo on it right they don't, you can you can talk about it still right i, I can talk a little bit about it okay. but i i i want to i don't want to I don't want to go out of my way and you know not you don't uh, want to give too much too much right. he has you just want to make me a surprise of course he has three streams covering it all right let me just uh turn down your audio a little bit because it's a little too loud i'm sorry what you're saying now yeah he has three streams covering it at the same time well well not at the same time but based on the way he has it set up every time a team plays right within whatever region that they're in a stream will particularly cover it. Nice. Um, obviously, it's the major streams that's going to be covering it. And where is this going to be located again? Um, it, it's from what I was told, it's um, eighty percent online, twenty percent offline, and it will be streamed. Okay. Um, and there's um, the, it, um, we have the like I said so far, you have the team captains, mm -hmm. um, Justin Wong captains the SoCal team, um, Filipino champ. Captains the New Cal team. Nice. Um, Larry from Atlanta, Shin Blanca, will be um, captaining the Atlanta team. Right. Flash Metroid, the Florida team, the New York team will be captained by Ataro. Sanford will captain the Empire team. And it, it's gonna, it's gonna be a slobber knocker, as Jr. was saying. <laughs> a, sl a slobber knocker. What's that mean? Yeah. I'm afraid to even ask what that means. <laughs> Cole is pretty much looking for other teams that want to get involved in the league. But I can only speak on our team mm -hmm. and Empire Acadia. So far, we're trying to we're we're finishing the confirmation for our bench. Our and it's five, it's a five man team, and I think you can have a five man bench. So it's a it's a total of ten um ten players on the team. Okay. And our bench is Jerron Grayson, Lincoln Dragon God Morris, um, Chris. Um, Craymore Landon, mm -hmm. um, Nelson Remix Reyes, yes, and sir. then Ise. Right. That, that's the bench. Wow. Our, our starting five is, is ridiculous. And our start, our How did you guys five build is, this roster? Like, what, 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 like, what made you guys like pick these certain individuals? Um. Well, we we went with what we got. Well, sure. You got some beasts. Yeah. A I, lot of people. I see a lot of people in the chat agreeing with that as well. Yeah. That, that, no, but that's the that's the bench. And, and that bench is going to be set because when AE drops and mm -hmm. the league picks up AE, mm -hmm. by that time, Ise will be a monster. Yes, sir. Run. And it's going to be something else. <laughs> now, our starting five is is going to be Rakakulous. Okay, tell us about that. I'm, I'm, the, I'm interested. The starting five is Sanford Kelly. Mm -hmm. um, he's going to be playing um, Sagat. IFC Yipes. He's going to be running it with Abel. Mm -hmm. um, Kevin Dominion Landon. He's going to go with Guile. Um, Andre Lambeard, um, which is Jago. He's going to be running Dictator. Okay. And then we have uh, coming out coming out of semi-retirement because we haven't seen him in a, in a while. Evil Rashawn. He's going to be running Hands. We don't call Honda Honda anymore. We call him Hands. Evil. He's a Hands monster. Yes, sir. He All lays right. hands on people. So that, that, that's going to be our starting five. That okay. We'll be able to switch in and out between our bench starting five and so forth, depending on the availability. That's and, nice. And ja um, they set it for January 3rd. The first round one matchup is going to be um, EMP versus New York. So, Like EMP versus New York? Like, what does that mean? Because um, Empire Acadia's team is not New York's team. New York has its own team, which is captained by Artaro. So you guys are just versing anybody, basically. Well, that's what they got us um, set up for right now. They, they, um, it's um, January 23rd. We fight Team New York. And team New York is um, setting this stuff up. Um, it may be a live event, which I hope it would be a live event. Um, Chinatown Fair would be um, a godlike um, location. Or if they want, we'll have it at the God's Ark. And that, that we launched the God's Ark January 19th. Now, let me ask you a question. Since we're talking about this God's Ark, what is the God's Ark, brother? Well, uh, a lot of people don't know about the history of the Ark, but the Ark that's currently right now mm -hmm. is called the Dark Ark because we turned off the lights. <laughs> um, as Nelson will call it, uh, what, what, what you call it? Uh, hold on, Nelson. Wait, do wait, that, wait, do wait. that for me. Come over here, Nelson. Come on. Go ahead, Nelson. All right, we call it Alone in the Ark. So we go like, we have like the little joke of last time on Are You Alone in the Dark? Or Are You Afraid of the Ark? <laughs> so, 
so that's what that's what we have it. it's alone in the arc because we got the lights turned off so it's yeah uh, are you afraid of the arc 